The American people are weary of war without victory. Nowhere is this more evident than with the war in Afghanistan. The longest war in American history. America has been at war for 16 years now, but is the world any safer? And more importantly, who has benefited from these wars? Because it certainly hasn't benefited people like you and me. In a report by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, over the past 16 years, the top 100 arms producing companies have shown increases in their sales, as high as a 37% increase. With the latest data collected from 2015, here are the top 10 companies who profit the most from the death making business. Coming in at number 10 is L3 Communications. In 2015, L3's arm sales came in at $8.7 billion. L3 divides its business into three segments, electronic systems, aerospace systems, and communication systems. Although the company has private and commercial clients, including airports worldwide that use L3 screening technology at security checkpoints, it is primarily a defense contractor. Number nine is Finn Mechanica. This Italian aerospace company made over $9.3 billion in 2015, and it recently changed its name to Leonardo. The company is a key player in aerospace, defense, and security, making anything from helicopters to space systems to security and information systems. Number eight is United Technologies, who made $9.5 billion in arms sales. Their aerospace division develops and manufactures a range of military technology from submarine stealth composites to fighter jet ejection seats, including engines used in the F-22 Raptor and the F-16 fighter jets. Number seven is Airbus Group, who made $12.8 billion in 2015. Europe's largest aircraft manufacturer has three divisions, commercial, defense in space, and helicopters. It's the largest helicopter manufacturer in the world with most of its helicopters for military purposes. They also dabble in cybersecurity technology development and military drone manufacturing. Number six is America's own General Dynamics who made over $19.2 billion in selling weapons, the vast majority of which are through America's Department of Defense. General Dynamics manufactures and sells ammunition, amphibious vehicles, combat tanks, and even the U.S. Navy's new Zumwalt destroyer, which by the way, doesn't even work. Coming in at number five is Northrop Grumman. Total sales came in at $20 billion for 2015. Northrop was awarded an $80 billion contract to supply the U.S. military with 100 long-range strike bombers. This is the biggest deal from the Pentagon in more than a decade. The company's arms sales include the F-35 fighter jet program, the Advanced Hawkeye Aircraft program, and the Saudi Arabian Ministry of National Guard training program. Number four is Raytheon. Raytheon's 2015 arms sales topped out at $21.7 billion. Based in Waltham, Massachusetts, Raytheon is known for its missiles and missile defense systems, which are really missile offense systems. 13 countries use primarily Raytheon air and missile defense systems. In 2015, Raytheon purchased cybersecurity provider WebSense for $1.9 billion. This deal is an indication of Raytheon's effort to diversify and move into commercial markets because, you know, killing people isn't enough. They need wage slavery too. Number three is BAE Systems, making $25.5 billion in 2015. 93% of its revenue came from defense contracts. They manufacture a wide range of military equipment, including warships, munitions, amphibious combat vehicles, and fighter jets. Cybersecurity and intelligence services also comprise a small share of the company's business. BAE Systems is a British company, but its biggest client is the United States. The second largest company profiting the most from arm sales is Boeing, who made $27.9 billion in 2015. Although most of its revenue comes from commercial airplanes, about one third of it comes from defense, space, and security operations, 
which still puts them in second place. Anything from drones, bombers, space planes, or missiles, Boeing has its tentacles in everything aerospace. Now the company who is benefiting the most from war is the infamous Lockheed Martin. In 2015, total sales topped out at $46.1 billion and still maintaining its position as the world's largest arms seller. F-16s, F-22s, Black Hawks, Vector Hawk drones, air-to-air -air missiles, and missile defense systems, Lockheed manufactures technologies that can kill people in so many ways it's hard to keep track. Lockheed's biggest customer is the US government, accounting for 78% of the company's net sales. In conclusion, the United States of America accounted for the largest share of the arms industry in the world, locking in at 56.6% of the total. This reflects the fact that the US Department of Defense is the largest single military spender in the world, and it awards a very large portion of its contracts to companies based in the United States. These weapons manufacturing companies depend on conflict, depend on war, in order for them to make a profit. Lockheed Martin CEO Marilyn Houston has a leaked tape where she is speaking about Lockheed's dependence on quote, volatility for their profits to grow. There are certainly plenty of threats in the region. You know, just the volatility, even if there may be some kind of deal done with Iran, there is volatility all around the region. And each one of these countries uh, believes they've got to protect their citizens and, and the things that we can bring to them help in that regard. So, is the business of war worth the profit when you consider the human costs? You tell me. Say NATO's got to go